Welcome to day 29 of 30 days of AL and today we are going to look at the field group. A field group in a table or a table extension object defines the fields to display in a drop down control or tiles on pages that use the table. We will enhance the way our drop down control looks using the field group. And you define it by adding the field group control. The syntax uh, is so strict. If you are saying it's a drop down, you have to write it the way it is drop down with the capitalization or brick the way exactly it is. And in a table extension, you can also extend the field groups of a default table using this table ex uh, uh, extension, but don't use duplicates. And again, if your table has a definition for name and description, then those fields will be automatically displayed in the field groups. You won't have to worry about the display of those values in the field group. So if I go to my 30 days of AL table, I have set the same table to be a table relation so that you can see that uh, how the dropdown will appear. But again, in this table, we have a description and a name. So ex as expected, the name and the description, what is the name? The name and the description will be automatically displayed in the field group. Okay. So, yes. So we have not added any field group, which is defined here in this section. I will just build and compile. It's too big. Huh? Build and compile so that we can see the display of the field groups by default without us setting anything. So here I will open Kenya, edit it, and try and select a drop down. Let's say, you see, the name and description by default have been displayed. So, uh, okay, that's magical Kenya. So if I say 650, I can be able to select. Let me try and get the search query so that I see if it will be displayed, if we get the description or not. So magical Kenya signature experience collection are curated, unique, authentic. Okay. And exceptional once in a lifetime Kenya travel experiences. And that's the site. Okay. Search was successful. So we have been able to Google that. We, we looked at this in a previous query. So our search for 645 will have that description with that magical Kenya and all that description. So the next thing that we want, we now want to customize the way the field groups are displayed here. So how do we go about it? Let's go back to our Visual Studio code. In our 30 days of a L table, let me open the table. 30 days of a L, and uh, here's the table. Come on, it's supposed to be 5100. Let me just stop the debugger, the one that's preventing me to work efficiently. So the 30 days of a L table, that's the code unit. Let me just go to definition. This one is joking with me. Okay, here we are in the table. We want to define the field group to change the appearance of our text or of our drop down. So after the keys, right after the keys here, we just need to add the field groups definition and use the braces, curly braces, and then the field group name, this should be drop down, and it has to be drop down with that particular capitalization, and it's a definition for the number, comma separated values, and then we just need the name to be the second, and probably the search query to be the third, and uh, for this we will want the, let me say this, 
what the hell is what the hell? then name number search query string string menu text and then the description so that is how we want our field group to be displayed before defining the brick so uh, and then now again we want another field group now for the brick this is for the tiles how do we want our tiles to be displayed the number will be the first field it appears as a small field on top of the tile and now the name the name okay okay supposed to be comma separated the name will be the second field then we want the value here in the tile when you are displaying the tile we want the value to show us the amount to be the third field and now the city image city picture to be the field that will display the image so the tile has on the left side of the tile we have an image displayed and finally we want the description to be like the verbose text right at the bottom of the tile so i'll build and compile so we have now altered the way the display of our application with the drop down and the brick so let's run and test our application so i will start with uh, changing the view layout option to tiles so we can be able to see that here the tile the image that we have defined is the uh, that city picture and we have the number as the first with which is a small one and then we have the name kenya and we have the value which is 255 let me go to tall tiles and see okay we don't have that description that we set as the last value okay i don't know why but let's just view maybe that one we i don't think i'll go back to it but we'll research later why it hasn't displayed so in our drop down in the drop down control we have number name the search query the string menu and the description so if i move right on top right on top right on top like with the magical kenya we have that uh, description well displayed there uh, in 645 so the verbose text is not coming here and uh, i just need to confirm anyway i think I'll, I'll i'll do some more research on this and be able to probably show you but maybe even uh, for you guys, you can be able to do that research to be able to see why this verbose, verbose text was in display. So that's how we can be able to customize our drop down, especially drop downs. At times, we have fields that have been defined that you don't have a name or description. And when the user is selecting the drop down, they are getting really weird, weird values that are not even descriptive enough for them. And we might need to give them. Uh, this particular feeling of having a really really good uh, way of uh, having selecting the drop down where they can see the values and easily identify what they want to select so that's it for this video i will see you in day 30 of 30 days of al see you there if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one